guys, Daphne Green living here and I am so excited to be a part of this collaboration with such amazing women. If you check the playlist, you can see everyone that is involved. They are some awesome women and so if you have not checked out their channels, you definitely need to do this. So I am here to talk about my three favorite Warlock inspired toys. And I would say the first one is something that's free. <laughs> It's the materials from nature. And so, well, I really don't have all of them out there, but you can get the idea just from looking in here, right? Like shells and rocks. And then like here are some natural plants here. But then also what I do a lot, because I do have some rough boys, four of them. I buy this, you know, I think I got this for like a dollar at a, at a thrift store. And I think I got this one for like a dollar too, right? And so although it's not real, um, they can use these as manipulatives and they can, you know, put their little animals around, their little figurines, their little shells, and their little things like that. And they absolutely love it. And the truth is, so do I. But don't tell them. So that's the first thing. But I also want you to think of like leaves, shells, rocks, sticks, acorns. Anything that you would find on a nature walk or a nature hike or a nature trail, those things again are free and awesome. But again, um, if you want something that maybe lasts a little longer, depending on how many children you have, something that's like this may be a good alternative. So these are wild off inspired um, items for me. Next up, my number two pick is wooden blocks. So I know that Grimm's blocks are really popular and they're really beautiful and really amazing and I'll insert a picture. As beautiful as I think they are, they're just not in the budget right now. But I just want to show you what I do and these are very economic things. These are kind of like the Grimm's blocks. Um, it's like a little puzzle that she put together but these little Lincoln Longs that have a whole set downstairs, we use these every day, like all the time. Um, here's a little bird's house that they sell at Michael's, right? Um, these little cute beads are amazing. I got these to make um, a bracelet and I just couldn't make the bracelet the way that I saw it in the, the store. So I got a little sad, but there's some more blocks here. These are absolutely a favorite and these were in nature for free, okay? And here are some peg doll bases and some different size ones that I just kind of got um, from all over the place. I just wanted to show you the little baby one. Again, for the people who are new to this, you've probably never seen any of this before. I know I hadn't. And this is like a Manusa and Doug um, set, and it's just wooden. The number two thing is blocks, but I couldn't just say these blocks or these wood pieces. Like I had to just give it all one group. So this is my number two pick. My third favorite is fabrics. Yeah, you've heard it right, fabrics. The kids love to play dress up with these. They love to pretend they're all types of things and really use their imagination. So here I have this pun. Um, I have a couple more of these I got from a thrift store. They're not silk. I have two silks that I got from A Child's Dream. And these, uh, some of them I left just uncut and let them play away with those. And then some of them I actually um, sewed the ends and made it just kind of complete. But yeah, these silks are awesome. And let me tell you, as adults, they're fun for you to put on and play as well. And here the sun is shining behind the forest. And <laughs> the mommy and daddy and baby are crossing the pond because they want to get to grandma's house because grandma has baked some fresh bread you can give them a way to kind of get over that water you know the kids are so much better than me but the point is that they can just move these around and just have really have lots of fun with it so again please be sure to check the link in the description box to see all the other amazing women i am truly gaining so much knowledge from them um, and it's through their videos that I can implement a successful homeschool um, 
year this year using this philosophy and this method of education. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I have been a help to you in some ways. I know if you are, you know, again, seasoned with this, it was probably boring. But again, if you're new to this, um, please check the description box and check out the other ladies. And you might want to see if this path would be good for you and your family. It's a more um, simplistic way of life, um, a way of doing things. And it's a really amazing fit for my family. And it's easy to integrate your culture and your faith into it. So I'm just really excited to share uh, with you guys. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, blessings.